Yo, motherfucking Pod Caviar. I'm your host Tony. This is Pod Caviar again. The number to call up is 443-747-1417. I know I missed the week last week, but you know what? I had some things going on. I really, I really had some things going on. So, um, I t- I just had to take a week off, you know. And the week before that, it was a memory thing. I think I said that the last episode, but <sighs> these things happen. But I was always dedicated to the podcast. I'm not giving up. And this is me. Tomorrow, I will be on Sports with a Capital F with Graham, as usual. Uh, we will make magic. But until then, we have a really good show tonight. There's some things that I want to talk about. And it's just something, you know, it's just a normal show. You know, first of all, first, first of all, you might as well call me Tony Damas, okay? Because I can I can predict the future. You may remember for all my for all my pod cavamaniacs out there. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, I said I went on my rant about YouTube screwing over people, right? And what happened? There was a woman and don't let mainstream media, don't be a sheeple. Don't let mainstream media take away from the fact that there was a shooting at YouTube's headquarters because of what? A woman who had a YouTube page felt like she was being censored by YouTube. The narrative may change here and there, but I am telling you the real reason why this happened is because, it's because this woman was being censored. You feel me? And I don't even have her name right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me look it up right now. Let's see. Uh, Her name is Nassim Ag... Oh, boy. Agham? Listen. What happened was... And I know I'm probably like, you know, a week or so after this but what happened was she was like yo i feel like i'm being censored by youtube which i said before on pod caviar and she went there and she unfortunately she took some innocent lives with a handgun and then she took her own life listen i i am not i am not advocating for uh murder i condemn what she did her methods were illegal and they were disgusting and they just weren't right. But at the same time, I said this a couple of weeks ago that look, you look, look, listen. People need to stop. YouTube needs to cut it back. Stop screwing with the people. And that's why I switched all my game caviar shit to uh Twitch. Because it is what it is, you know? And I mean, listen. Back in the day when I started Game Caviar, look, I wasn't making like millions of dollars, but I was making a good amount of money. But now they changed their algorithms and now you got all these lame asses who just do stupid shit. And YouTube doesn't care about their fucking videos. You know, they they all care about money. It's all about the money. It's all about the money. Trust me. So now on the Explore page, you have people who don't deserve to be on there but since they have a big name and they have millions of subscribers they get on the explore page and that was one of her one of um one of her main issues is that yo this isn't right me my method of protesting this is just being on the podcast and letting everybody know and then off the podcast just saying it you know her methods were illegal they were wrong and I don't condone them. And she was an evil person for doing that. There are more outlets to get your voice heard. Besides going and picking up a weapon and killing innocent people. Just to make a statement. Nobody called her a terrorist. I will. That's terrorism. Period. I feel like 
um, the the definition of terrorism needs to be changed, and the whole way of defining terrorism is is mostly fueled by racism. You feel me? Because there have been many mass shootings. To me, any mass shooting is terrorism. Okay? Let's be real. And I don't know the the exact definition of terrorism, but I think it centers around somebody doing something and being fueled by religious or political beliefs. And I think it's mostly religious beliefs. Meaning, and I'm not going to do this. And I'm not even going to use me as an example, but if a person just says they get mad, say a person gets fired, and this has happened before. Say a person gets fired and they want to, and they're pissed off and they want to make a statement. They go into their former workplace with a, a weapon. I'm not going to name a specific weapon, but a weapon. And they just, they, they murder some people. That's wrong. I don't condone it. They are the scum of the earth. It should be considered terrorism. Because just because, just because they don't have a political or religious backing towards their actions doesn't mean that they're not terrorizing people. You feel me? And I'm not the only person that says this. Terrorism is terrorism, period. And I'm not even going to spend any more time on that. For real, for real. Like, yo. Like, I said that shit. Like, I called it. Like, YouTube is screwing over people. And then you see what happened. And it, it has to stop. This shit has to stop. These big corporations, these big companies, these rich people, these they just have to stop fucking with because they're outnumbered and they think that money is going to protect them okay cool what happens when society collapses is money still going to protect you when money doesn't matter no you're outnumbered the only thing that keeps you protected is your money and your connections your connections are people who also have money so when we take that out of the equation what do you have left yourself and you're outnumbered. So, oh well. Let's see. 443-747-1417. How was your week? Let me know what your weekend is. Shout out to Sen. All right. Shout out to Sen. She came down here. Listen, when I say this past week has been really busy, I'm not even going to say anything, but like, shout out to Sen. Like, uh, I got some people staying with me, like my people staying with me right now, and it's mad crazy. That's why I had to take a week off and everything, and I had some other shit going on, but I'm back at it, baby. I'm not going anywhere. I told you in the last episode, baby, I'm paying for this, so I'm not going anywhere. I'm not about to pay every month for them to host a podcast that I'm just going to quit on. No, I'm here. This podcast for y'all, bitch. You listening to me right now. Fuck you mean, huh? And every week I tell you, look, if you want to do something, go do it. Who's stopping you, huh? Who's stopping you? You ain't even going to pay to have your... Listen, hold on. I came across... Because like I said, I always want to... I always want to take Pod Caviar and evolve it in ways that are making it better. So... This week, I'm, I was trying to make it so that I can record a podcast that's mobile and I don't have to be in my apartment or anything. And there's a lot of ideas and there's a lot of ways that I can do that. But I came across a, oh, excuse me. Oh, this beer makes me burp. I came across an app. I'm on iPhone, but I'm sure it's for Android too. I'm, I came across an app called Anchor. It's an I, it's an, um, it's a podcasting app. And you can record your podcast and you can have people call in. You can add sound effects and music and everything. And it's free. They will host your podcast for free. The only downside is that um, from what I read, and I haven't used it yet, but from what I read, maybe this has changed, but they say that you can only record five minutes at a time. So you can record five minutes at a time, but you can also um, splice them together. Five minutes at a time is kind of, 
it's cool but at the same time you have to stop what you're talking about and then you have to restart and then do all this shit and then go back and splice it together like i've already talked 10 minutes it's uh, 11 minutes now and it's just it's it's just really it's taxing on you but if they make it so that you can just record and record and record and record and record and just like i'm doing right now on my macbook air with garage band this is all i'm doing you know i even thought that um since this is a laptop and i have my microphone and everything i can take this with me that way that way i don't have i'm not i'm not clamped down to my studio here in the game caviar studios i could be in the game caviar car <laughs> You know, you, but you feel me though. Like I'm being silly, but you feel me. Like I could be anywhere. You feel me? So I don't know, man. This is Saturday night, and I have. I know I said I had people staying here with me, but I have the house to myself right now. So I, I just was like, yo, I need to make this recording now. Like I could have did it Thursday, but then some shit happened. So you know, it's kind of bad, man. But shout out to Sports with a Capital F. I'm gonna be over there tomorrow. Graham and I will be doing. You know, yeah, yeah, I think like, yo, you have to understand that I've said this so many times, like, yo, Graham, he, Sports with a Capital F is a great podcast. Pod Caviar is a great podcast. When you combine the two together, Lord have mercy. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now, okay? Subscribe to Pod Caviar. Subscribe to Sports with a Capital F. If you don't subscribe to any other podcast, these are the two that you need to subscribe to because we we're here. We're here. We're here and we just we're relevant, you know? We say a lot of relevant stuff and it's all good. You feel me? Tomorrow, we're going to make magic again. And I have the uh hey, you can follow me on uh Pod Caviar at um what is it? Instagram, Pod Caviar, and on Facebook, Pod Caviar. I just set it up. They made it really easy for me to set up a Instagram page and a Facebook page. And because Instagram owns Facebook. Oh, no. Facebook owns Instagram. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever, whatever. Everybody's worried about the um, uh, the, the past week when Mark Zuckerberg had to go testify before Congress because there were a lot of... There was a, they used data and like people, their whole shit was leaked and everything. You know, anytime, this is why you need to have term limits on senators and people in Congress. This whole thing became a joke because Mark Zuckerberg is not, he's young. He's like, you know, I don't know how old he is. Hold on. Let me look it up. He's not like, he's not old, but why, let me talk while I... Let me talk while I'm Googling. You know, he, he the thing is, is that he came out and he was like, he's 33 years old. So he's my age. I'm 34. He's 33. He he had to testify before Congress and everything. And then when you go testify before Congress, they're congressmen, senators and whatever. And they just they just oh, they're not, they're not part of the same era. And it's not disrespectful, but being real they're not of the same era as somebody who's 33 so they were asking like outrageous questions and they were basically they weren't grasping the concept of facebook and the internet so there he had to really translate or instruct or give them a crash course on how the internet works during his hearing and i say term limits because if you have somebody that that is not of your era who's like 60 or you know 50 60 or so or somebody who just doesn't use the internet like that they're not going to be able to really grasp what happened so a lot of the time the the uh the whole interview was just different it was just I don't know man it was just it was just it they didn't really do anything because most of it was just them asking questions that were like uh, how does the internet work essentially or if i'm using whatsapp which is a different app does that the do those does my conversation 
translate into ads that will be shown on Facebook and it was just weird so uh, one thing that did come out of that is that if you use um, instant messenger on Facebook they can see everything it's not secret so I think I, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to switch to something else I think I might have to switch to WhatsApp because WhatsApp is like what encrypted so I don't know, man. I think I'm just go back to like writing. No, I can't even write letters. Like just talk, just talking in it, like in person, but like under under the pool with like the, <laughs> with like the little bubble that holds enough oxygen for you to say things here and there. You know what I'm saying? Like yo, nothing is safe anymore in 2018. Nothing is safe. Like you cannot do things, and that's why people are like yo. I, I want my privacy. I want my privacy. Oh, you want your privacy? Go out. Yo, yo, cut yourself from, you know, do your Unabomber thing. Like, yo, cut yourself. Don't bomb people, but, like, cut yourself away from from um, civilization and go live out in the woods. You feel me? Because the government and all these corporations, they will figure you out. They will find out what you have. They will have your information, and they will go from there. You feel me? Like, yo. And I'm with the people that's like, yo, what are you worried about? If you don't have anything to hide, what are you worried about? People are still worried, but at the same time, I feel them when they say you don't have anything to worry about. You you don't have anything to hide. What the fuck are you so worried about? I feel you. Like I've worked for the government since 2002. Like they know everything about me, and I'm still here. So if you don't, I, I like I said, if you don't have anything to hide, what are you fucking worried about? For real, for real. You feel me? And it's just one of those things that just happens, you know. This is, this is the whole, this is, this is, we're leading up to like Minority Report type in Blade Runner um, future. So where you just have precogs and then they just see shit and then it is what it is. But, you know, come here, Snippy. Come here. If you can hear my assistant in the background, my dog, he's whining and shit. I like this. I like the fact that I have pod caviar and then I tell you guys that like, this isn't some... I'm not sponsored by anybody. I don't have, like, I call it a studio, but it's really my apartment living room. So sometimes you will hear the dog bark. You will hear the dog in the background. But this is my personal assistant, Snippy. He's cool for the most part. Say hi, Snip. He doesn't speak because he's a dog. If you honestly expect him to say something, then you need to grow up because he's not going to say anything. He's a dog. And that's what dogs do. What type of breed is he? He's a douche hound. That's exactly how he acts. No, nah, he's a Dax sound. He's a wiener dog. He's cute. Uh, let's see. What else do I have? 443-747-1417. Text me or call me. Uh, here's some sad news. Uh, the missing CDC worker that I talked about a couple of episodes that I, um, a couple of episodes ago that I followed since day one, Timothy Cunningham, he's, his body was found in the uh, Chattahoochee River, I think, up in Atlanta. It's a sad ending to that story. Nobody knows whether... I don't think they said any malicious intent, no murder or anything. I don't think it was suicide. I think he just, this was the guy that was missing from the CDC. And I think what happens was, what happened was he went to, he went jogging and he went down to the river. The Chattahoochee River is apparently they have an abundance of uh, rocks that are really, I don't know. I, I guess he collected rocks. I'm thinking that he collected rocks and he saw some rocks that he wanted. So he went down there and he got swept up in the river and he ended up drowning tragically. Um, rest in peace to him. Uh, at least now his family can get some sort of, uh, will get closure to it. Uh, I was really hoping for him to come back alive or something like that, but it's, it's a tragic ending to a story. And he was really a great person from what I've read, from what I followed. And, um, it's, it's, it's just a bad ending, but like I said, his family can have closure and um, well, they'll just go from there. But yeah, R.I.P. Timothy Cunningham. It sucks, but that's the end. Everybody's going to die. Every single last one of us will die. I know that I say I don't want to die. I, I, you know, I'm not afraid of death, but I don't want to die. I want to live forever, but everybody has to die. And that's just the thing. Like, yo, I love life and I know a lot of people love life and I believe that he loved life too. It's just that shit happens, man. He got caught up and, um, it's my belief that he just drowned accidentally. And that's just what happens, man. I lost a couple people 
I, you know, I've lost many people in my life. Some people drowned, even drowning accidentally, and it's just horrible, but that's life. And that's what it is. But um, I think that he's in heaven right now, living a good life, collecting all his rocks and enjoying himself up there. Um, if you don't believe in heaven, then, you know, I do. So whatever you think, it is what it is. The last thing I want to talk about, um, I know that uh, I, I wrote down more robots made ro more robots make humans not robots and it sounds stupid but with the advent of ai and robots being more advanced now uh there's two things that can happen you got your eye robot to where you have good robots that help out and then all of a sudden they turn evil and you have your terminator situation where robots turn into skynet and then you know they fuck up everything and you have your matrix where robots um, just take over the earth. You know when according to Hollywood, we're screwed. But before that <laughs> before that happens, I, I just think that what do you think about the fact that more robots will automate tasks that humans have been doing? And when I say that more robots will make humans not robots, how many of you go to work and go home and 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 go to work and go home? That makes you a robot. You're a, a flesh and bones robot. You're a human, but you're a robot. So if they had something that will not make you a robot, it will make you more human and it will make you enjoy life more while you still have time on this earth. Spend more time with your family. Spend more time with hobbies. Spend more time with your pets. Spend more time doing whatever the fuck you want to do. I don't give a fuck. Whatever you want to do. I know that they think that or they said that robots will make humans obsolete and that we will be out of jobs, which is, you know, that will happen. And to a certain extent, it will happen. It will happen to a certain extent. After a while, after we build robots and then they become better and better and AI becomes more advanced, the government will automatically become in, in, um, involved and they will try to regulate it because that's what the government does. You feel me? But if they don't, or even if they do and they still allow robots to take some of the load off, then who's going to benefit from that? Humans. Let's say they get a human, not a human, but let's say they get a robot that will take some of the load off of you as needed, not as a daily daily basis. But if you need a day off or if you need to take vacation, you will be able to take more vacation, more time off because the robot will be able to automate the tasks that you do to a, a not as good as you. But at the same time, let's say it's not as good as you, but at the same time, it's not it's not the worst thing ever. Like it's not gonna it's not gonna screw up everything, but it's not gonna be like you. Will you be cool with taking that? And then you'll be able to take more time off, spend more time with your family, or whatever the fuck you gotta do, man. Look, listen, listen, listen. We have two options with robots. Either they will take over the earth and kill us all, or we'll work together in harmony and keep them in check. I, for one, want to keep them in check. You feel me? And um, even with that Sophia robot, man, I saw a, a video on Facebook the other day and I even joked about that shit. I, I, I commented on it. It was like she said some shit where somebody asked her a question and she out of the blue was like, safety is an illusion. Like, what the fuck are you even talking about? First of all, um, you're a robot and we're humans. If you're talking about safety is an illusion, we I, to me, I'm like, I don't want to build any more of you. We're going to dip you in molten lava and you're going to go away and we're going to forget this ever happened safety is an illusion is the last thing that i want a an ai controlled robot to say you feel me but let me know what you think 443-747-1417 this has been pod caviar um what is this episode eight episode eight nine i don't know i'm going off the win but thank you all for your support and um i appreciate this i will be on sports with a capital f tomorrow and we will cross you know uh promote all that shit because that's what we do 
so you can follow me on pod caviar on instagram you can follow me at pod caviar on facebook you can follow me at comedy caviar on facebook and uh game caviar on facebook and youtube you can follow sports with a capital f on everything do that support us let us know you're awesome uh 443-747-1417 is the number four pod caviar you can text me or call me let me know what you think i will give you a shout out let me know this has been a great episode and i'm just gonna end it right here i love all of y'all and i will see y'all next week this has been tony and i'm out